On their opening possession, trying to convert on third down. Doing it by himself with his legs. A crease up the sideline. Jamie Hampton springs free and is into the end zone for a 64-yard touchdown. Third and 18. Cruz, no time to throw, and it's intercepted. Woods walks into the end zone for a University Christian touchdown. Power formation on fourth and three. Hand off to Heck, and he's stuffed. The defense holds and forces a turnover on downs. Now on third and 12, Cooper faces quick pressure but sets up the screen. Ty Solomon for a first down and more. Finally dragged down at the 36-yard line. Now alone, Hampton with five receivers downfield, takes a shot and intercepted on the tip drill. The Purple Hurricanes running it back with Demetrius Brown. Wow. Finally edged out at the 24-yard line. What a 180 for this Purple Hurricanes defense. After an eight-yard pickup, same play, but blown up in the backfield. The adjustment made by Marshawn Turner flying in off the edge. Trying to stay as dry as possible out there. Imagine the six-year head coach not too happy about that. Right back to work. Williams busts through the line and scampers into the end zone. Okay, now. Picking up right where he left off. Jacksonville's leader in rushing touchdowns gets his eighth of the season. New running back, Greg Peacock. Oh, he drops the it. ball. It's Creeper's loose. It. And Akel has it for Creekside. Coach Grady has said those little things, those small movements have been to the difference in his progression. The first-year starter airs it out down the field and connects on another strike. But Bowles rips the ball away. How about that? Wow. Give me that ball, Trent Carter. It started with the hit from Kayvon Miller. But how about the awareness? Trent Carter, seeing that the ball was loose the entire time, that knee never touched, forward progress really never upended. What a great spot for the officials not to blow the whistle too early. Cowboys in the red zone, brought to you by Don Mason State Farm Insurance. Quarterback keeper, Hampton. Cuts it back inside, lunges, and is in. Marching right down the field, the Cowboys offense takes their first lead today. The coach on the field for the Christians gets everybody in order in the final 30 seconds of the half. Wright bounces to the outside and has six. Impressive vision from Brady Wright. And the Christians punch it in with 20 seconds left in the half. One Academy undeterred. Same play for a third time in a row. Oh. And enough to get the first down and more. Peacock off to the races. Oh, he and the ball punched out. Loose inside the 10. And finally, a Red Terror player falls on it in the nick of time. Chandler Owen saves the day after a massive gain. High snap, fielded clean. Perry with a good boot. Caught at the 21 by Drayton. Freed up with a nice block. Gets the edge and up the sideline. Pummeled out of bounds, but not before a phenomenal return from the Harvard commit, Jaden Drayton. You know, Coach Russ Murray did say this week, it's like preparing for Alabama. We want to see where our program is. We're excited for the challenge. I don't know if I would have said yes to this game two years ago, but our kids are really excited to see how we stack up against a program like UC. Yep, and that's what you, it's all about, playing your best against good teams. Aiden Cruz is the quarterback. The sophomore stands with Lilly right behind him, and the give is to the star senior. Wrapped up and tackled immediately. Luke Thomas in on the stop. Get ready to hear the captain's name all afternoon. 
and I look forward to seeing him as see Mr. Riles getting the first carry and it's kind of up the middle a little bit and not try, trying to test the UC interior defense right now. Coach Russ Murray in his fourth year has seen significant improvements since 2019. This snap bobbled and a good recovery by Cruz. Dives on the football back at the 22 to avoid disaster. Taking a look at this replay presented by RV Clinics. Mike, this is what you were just saying. Ball security going to be so crucial today. It, it is. It's going to be paramount at both teams. Just, just make sure they take care of the ball. And that snap was a little bit hot for them, but not too bad. But in the normal conditions, you probably catch that. But today is a little difficult. We saw all four teams in our two games yesterday struggle at certain points with snaps. And quite honestly, it was the difference in Creekside's one-point victory over Glen Academy. Third and 18 now on their opening drive. The Indians take a shot downfield. There is contact, but no flag. Great defense downfield from Aiden Skidmore. And, and, I, and even with the weather, it looks like Charlton County tried to come out and take a shot. And one-on-one -on -one coverage, no safety over the top. But the University of Christian, number 28 player, was able to make a good play on the ball and force a front. Tyler Williams was down there, almost came down with the football too, but it was just that jump ball situation. And University gets off the field in under 90 seconds. Orell Gray back to return the punt. Coach David Penland describes one of his best skilled position players as electric, but this punt is dropped and University will take over in the red zone. And there again, that's got to be weather inflicted uh, uh, turnover right there. He's, Connor was unable to catch the ball, and University Christian smartly was able to come up. And as you can see on the replay, a uh, perfect snap. I mean, it hit him right in the hands, but this was tough. But I, I like the aggressiveness of University Christian on that play. They didn't sit back. They waited to see if something was going to happen, and then he made the tackle. That pursuit comes from D.K. Gilly. Christians start this game in the red zone, presented by Douglas Phelps State Farm Insurance. Gray is the running back. Next is quarterback Dwayne Stuckey. Keeping those feet moving near the five-yard line. They'll say the knee touched at the six. And, and early, you can see University might have a little bit of size advantage against uh, the Indians. And, and early, his, his first carry up the middle, good blocking, and just an arm tackle brought him down. But he was close to getting that one into the pay Gray up the gut and tackled right around that first down marker going to be a yard short thanks to Darion Jones. Yes, and and right now you just want to keep hammering up the middle. You're this close to the end zone and points might be at a premium today, so you want to make sure that every chance you get in the red zone, you at least put something on the board. Third straight give to Gray, steps by the defense and walks into the end zone for a university touchdown. Simple football right there, just man on man, putting the body on the body like uh, the inside give to Gray, and he was able to make sure that he kept his feet moving. I like I like the way he got the ball. Once he got the ball in his hands, he made the, eluded the defender, made him miss, and was able to get into the end zone for the game's first score. Okay, former pro, is that a excuse me touchdown right there? <laughs> yeah, it, it was a good play. I mean, he, made, he had to make some money miss, and that was who, the one guy that they could not block that the running back was responsible for, and he was able to make him miss. Carson Hancock on for the extra point, and how about Gray pulling the double duty as a penalty marker is dropped on the far side? One thing that's going to be interesting today, and both teams catch primarily most of their snaps out the gun. And that's going to be something with the weather that, hey, if you're, everything's out the gun, that means the snaps have to be perfect and the ball security has to be perfect also. You even just noticed Gray wipe his right hand. Trying to catch a clean snap on the PAT. Good snap, good hold. Routine kick up and through. Quick 11-yard drive thanks to Orell Gray. His sixth rushing touchdown of the season helps UC strike first.